Hey, how's it going there? Troy with Big BB LLC. Uh, today we're going to talk about alternate training methods. Before I start on this, I just want you to know I am not sponsored by anything I'm about to talk about, and everything that I have here I paid for myself. Um, I am an instructor, so a lot of this stuff I paid for to help me teach courses and to help train students. So with that being said, let's move on. The first thing is this cheap plastic thing right here. I use this to kind of help students with their grip. That's all it's really good for. I can't really tell if your sight alignment and sight picture is good because, well, I don't have the student size. So basically, I ask them what they see. They tell me. Good to go. So this right here is only literally a tool that I use to help with grip. Right? For shooting, um, I have a couple of laser target pistols. Um, so I got an iTarget Pro. It comes with a target and a little place for you to put your phone. You use it with an app and you basically shoot this laser at it. Alright. Um, this one here is for the 45. So if you see that laser. So every time the firing pin hits that little button, it makes a light. And it registers on the target, and it registers with the app. So that is a good way to get training. Here's what I don't like about that. All my weapons are clear. So one of the things I don't like about that is, one, it's a whole lot easier to train if you have a hammer, because you could set the hammer like that. And you could shoot it over and over again, right? But your training is still interrupted by pulling a hammer. If you have a striker fire, right, you have to reset the trigger by pulling the hammer back every time, the striker, I'm sorry, by pulling the slide back every time to recock that striker. Just so you could do that over and over again. So kind of a uh, really effective means of one shot training, if so to speak. Like you're going to shoot once. You're going to concentrate on that target one time over and over again. Um, so that kind of does help with like some of the fundamentals. Um, I also got the Laser Academy and so this comes with a little tripod. Um, it comes with one of the lasers but I got three. I got the 40, the 9, and the 45. Um, it does come with a bigger tripod stand. It comes with the full array of targets. These are the little ones, uh, and these are the big ones. Basically the same thing as the little ones, only bigger. All right, same thing, run by an app. The difference is with the iTarget, you kind of got to tell the phone where the target is, and so if you're off a little bit, it's not going to register as good. These use this to kind of figure out where the target is, and also what the target is, and it helps that way. Um, target stands. So it comes with pretty much everything for the Mantis. That's the laser training. I don't have the Mantis X. That's the Mantis Laser Academy. But you have the same limitation because you've got those little snap cap lasers. So hammer or striker fire, you're, you're pretty much resetting every shot. So I went ahead and I uh, went deep. Dug deep down. And I bought the CERT. This is the shot indicating uh, reset trigger. So they reset the trigger. You don't have to interrupt your training. They come in red and green laser. This one's a green. This one's a red. And then if you'll notice on this model right here, I got the shot indicator turned on. So right here, you have the laser. That is nothing more than the trigger laser. And then you've got the brake laser, right? So what I like about that is when the student is shooting, 
I have a spot I can mark on the wall where that laser is supposed to hit because it's actually kind of pointed down, so it's going to be out of the view of the student if they're aiming in properly. And I can actually tell you what you're doing by the way this laser's moving before you break a shot and see where your target is on the other side. You can use these lasers with the iTarget system and with the Mantis laser training system. Um, like I said, that, that shot indicating laser you can turn on or off. There's a switch in there. They come in red and green. This is the CERT 107. This is the CERT 1010, so they even have different models. You can practice with magazine changes because the magazine is not the battery, but it's got some weight to it, so they kind of feel like a real gun, weight-wise. And you can practice magazine changes. The other thing I like about their uh, stuff is I have the stick. So this is like your AR trainer, right? But, you'll notice some stuff's missing down here. It uses the 110. Put it up in there. And now you can use it. And so, these are alternate methods that you can use to train people with. Um, so, right now with the certs, I'm, I'm going to start some laser training hour-long sessions for some of my students or for people that want to come in and train and don't want to expend a whole lot of ammo all right but that's pretty much that's pretty much it so stay safe shoot straight